Hallo liebe Techbook-Fans, wir sind heute hier in Katowice in Polen beim Intel Extreme Masters, einem Counter-Strike-Turnier, einem der größten Counter-Strike-Turniere Europas. Heute wird im Grand Finale werden Ente und Astralis aufeinandertreffen und wir wollen euch heute einfach mal zeigen, wie so ein Turnier aussieht. Wie sieht ein Counter-Strike-Turnier eigentlich aus? Wir waren schon Backstage. Congratulations on your big win. Win. How was like the topic? Was the pressure going into the finals as such a big favorite? Uh, I think we have been used to being favorites in a long time now. Uh, so I think we handle the pressure like we always do. Uh, focus on what we can do about the match, and that is preparing for the match. Make sure that we have everything uh, in our hands. Like good idea of how they play the game, and and we did that to perfection today. And yeah, I don't feel like uh, we. Like the the pressure affected us in any negative way. I think it was more something that motivated us even more to to prove that we deserve to win today. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about your preparation going into this uh, major? Uh, how would you describe your everyday life to a like non gamer for over the past two or three weeks? Uh, the past two or three weeks we have been <laughs> we have been briefing CS as we call it. Uh, we have been not doing nothing than thinking about the game. Uh, Training all the time and and all that stuff. So we haven't really been doing anything else than playing uh, this <laughs> Counter Strike. So yeah, it's been it's been really tough. And now you're like mentally drained. So a few days off after we get uh, home from here. So how do you chill now? Uh, I, f <laughs> I think we're gonna have a few beers and relax a bit. Uh, it's not gonna be anything wild because uh, most of our teammates uh, we don't really like you know going uh, crazy or anything or stuff like that. So we will just. Uh, Get a few beers and then I think we're gonna go to bed. <laughs> okay, final question: How do you how do you respond to people uh, saying esports isn't a legitimate sport? I mean, if you can fill out a stadium like this one uh, with people coming from all around the world, I would call it a sport. I, uh, many sports nowadays don't doesn't even have so many uh, viewers in the arenas like we do, and this is uh, almost normal for us now that we are filling out stadiums all the time and hundreds of thousands of people watching all online all the time and. Uh, there's so much uh, into it, like, yeah, I, I would call it a sport for sure, but uh, that's not really up to me, I guess. <laughs> okay, thank you. Some words for the German fans? Well, uh, I really appreciate all the fans. It doesn't really matter where they come from. Uh, Germany, Denmark, doesn't really matter. We appreciate every single one of you, and uh, thank you for cheering for us, and see you next time. Okay, thank you very much. All right.